This concealer, I don't know why people don't really talk about. Hey guys, it's Sanem and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So as you can tell by the title, it is all about high-end makeup today. Now, I wanted to do a little video all about high-end makeup because I do show a lot of drugstore products on my channel. I mean, I do a little bit of mix and match. I do show uh, some high-end and some drugstore, but I felt like I just wanted to do, to do a dedicated video to high-end makeup. And I'll, of course, at a later date, do a drugstore edition as well. So this is just my version of what I think is the best high-end makeup products, what I think is absolutely amazing, what I think you should definitely splurge on and is worth your money. So I'm first gonna start off with primer. And um, for my primer, I was gonna mention the Fenty one, which I absolutely love, but I'm gonna mention one that not a lot of people talk about and I use this thing up so much. Um, so this is the Bobbi Brown Enriched Face Base Vitamin uh, primer is basically a primer and a moisturizer in one so you're getting two for one basically for your money and Bobbi Brown is such a great luxurious brand the quality of their products are amazing I actually have the mini size of this product they do have two sizes it comes with a little sifter I'm mean, not sifter a little uh, lid as well and this is what it looks like so it is just a very uh, thick and moisturizing primer. So you can use this as skincare, you can use this to use before your foundation, which is what I typically like to do. I use it more as a primer and it just gives you the most softest, glowiest skin. It has no shimmer to it. It just makes your skin look very hydrated. It feels hydrated and it just makes your foundation glide on really smoothly. And I find that this actually helps with the wear of your foundation as well throughout the day. And I just absolutely love this stuff. Um, and I need to get a new one because as you can see, I've used up so much of it and they do have two sizes. So probably start out with the mini. I do love the Fenty one. This is the soft matte pro filter primer but with this one I find that it may not work for all skin types whereas this one is more for all skin types whether you're oily dry combination it will work for you um, and I just it's just a great primer so I highly recommend that one and then for foundation I have two two foundations that I want to share with you guys. So for my first foundation, which I'm going to recommend to you guys, and that I think is the best, one of the best foundations, uh, high-end foundations, is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This one I have in a very dark shade for me, as you can tell, um, so I need to get a new shade, but I freaking love this foundation. I just hurt myself. <laughs> I love this foundation so much it has great reviews it's a great foundation it's super long wearing it gives you a very naturally radiant finish as the name suggests and it's not a matte finish it's not a dewy finish it's like that perfect in between uh finish and it's just that foundation that everyone wants you know you just want that perfect smooth looking radiant foundation without making your skin look too cakey and drying this is it i'm telling you if you haven't tried it yet go and try it because this is one of the best foundations that I've ever tried along with the second one that I'm gonna show you after. Um, and NARS again is known for their, you know, face products. Their NARS Sheer Glow Foundation is great, but I feel like a lot more people are gonna absolutely love this one. It's medium to full coverage. It is a little more on the fuller side, which is why I have more of a medium coverage afterwards, but this is definitely more of a fuller coverage, but it still gives you the most beautiful finish and kind of uh, lit from within glow it's also resistant wear so it's not going to budge throughout the day it's not going to sweat it's not going to move anywhere it just stays in place all day and it is also 16 hour wear which is absolutely amazing i would highly highly recommend this one and then if you don't want to go for something that's too for coverage this one you guys already know now this is my holy grail foundation and i'm actually wearing it today but i mixed quite a bit of concealer into my foundation this is the makeup forever hd foundation this is the ultra hd invisible cover foundation the Makeup Forever foundation, the reason I love it is because it is a sheer to medium to full coverage. You can completely play around with it and make it whatever finish you want. I like to make this a medium coverage, which it starts off pretty much as a medium coverage anyway. And also with this one, the thing I love about it the most is that it's an undetectable finish, which means you're not gonna see where the foundation uh, starts and stops. It just blends in seamlessly, you can't see it, and it just blurs all your imperfections, it blurs out any pores, it evens out your redness it just is the most perfect foundation like a go-to everyday foundation this would be it and then if you want something a little more full coverage or if you are 
a more full coverage girl than the NARS Naturally Radiant Foundation. So these two are your best friends now. I don't know if anyone really talks about this, but this is I just discovered this like a few months ago and I fell in love with it and I just use it non-stop. I'm using it today under my, under my eyes and this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Concealer. So this is like the concealer version of their foundation. However, their foundation I find is a little more thick, a little more full coverage and a little more matte. Whereas this is like super radiant and creamy and hydrating. It's like the complete opposite. And I absolutely love this concealer. I actually love the shade the most as well. The shade I have is 1W Light and it is perfect for me. It's a perfect pale yellow concealer. This concealer, I don't know why people don't really talk about. It's a super lightweight concealer. Like it feels so light under the eyes, but it gives you a medium to full coverage as well. You can build it up and you're never gonna feel like you're putting on too much concealer or too many layers because it's super thin and lightweight. And it gives you a very creamy radiant under eye. It's almost like the NARS naturally, what's it called? Not naturally radiant. The NARS creamy concealer. Yeah, Radiant Creamy Concealer, that's what it's called. It's literally like that, but this one I find is a little more liquidy um, and a little more brightening. This one you have a lot of playtime with, so you can play around with it. You can put it all over the skin and you don't have to worry about blending out too quickly because it doesn't dry down too quickly too quickly um, and I love this one so I would highly recommend that and paired with that or not even paired with it just this next product this next product okay is my secret weapon this is the one thing that you have to take away from this video and get is this this is the MAC prep and prime highlighting pens now they are under eye pens like it's kind of like the YSL Touche Club uh, highlighting pens. I have two shades. I have Radiant Rose and Light Boost. Light Boost is my favorite, which is the more yellow one. And the pinky one is Radiant Rose. So these highlighting pens have no shimmer to them. They are a very creamy, brightening, um, pen. I wouldn't say it's a concealer though. They have some darker shades, so you can use it as concealer, but I'll just show you right now, like one swipe. It's a brush tip as well. The thing I love about it the most is that it gives you a sheer wash of brightness under the eyes. So it's not gonna make you look super bright under the eyes and like super stark and make it look cakey. It's just a very thin formula and it just adds the softest brightening effect under, the, under your eyes and makes it look like a filter. This is my holy grail. This is my secret weapon for a bright under eye, for a flawless under eye. Um, and this one is Radiant Rose, which is more of the pinky one, which is, you can see right there, a lot more brightening. And usually what I like to do is actually mix the two and it creates a perfect shade for me. Those I would highly recommend. It's also very long wearing. It doesn't crease. It doesn't cake on top of other concealers. So what I like to do is go in with a concealer and then put these on top to brighten further. And it is just the most beautiful formula. It's the most um, sheer wash of color. And I love these. Highly, highly recommend. Next, let's talk about my favorite eyeshadow palette and one that I think is the most versatile go-to eyeshadow palette, one that is worth it, one that is worth every penny. This is the Violet Voss Holy Grail Eyeshadow Palette, Pro Holy Grail Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like. This is my baby. I absolutely love this palette for so many different reasons. And it's just a great palette because you get so many shades for the price that it is. And the formula performs better than Natasha Denona. I, I don't understand why a lot of people think Natasha Denona is the best uh, eyeshadow formula because these these are it and the reason I love this as well is because as you can see it's a very neutral palette so it's going to be a uh, very everyday friendly and it's also suited for every single skin tone no matter what skin tone you are you can rock this palette you can go for your darker shades you have more berry tones dark browns light browns bronzy shades golds light colors and orange I'm just going to swatch a few you have this one right here look at that look at that that is just I mean, I can't with the formula of these super creamy mattes. Oh my God. And they blend like a dream. Look at these. I mean, I just think a lot more people need to talk about this palette. Don't hate me, but this video is all about, you know, expensive high-end makeup. That's worth it. These are very pricey, but I think they are super, super worth it. 
These are the Tom Ford lipsticks. They retail, I think, for like £40 each, which I know is very expensive, but I did used to work at Tom Ford, and that's why I um, had a discount, so I used to to stock up on some Tom Ford products. So yes, I think these are so worth it. They're so rich and creamy. Tom Ford is a very prestige brand. Um, and yeah, I just think the products are amazing. Now the lipsticks are super luxurious. Like I said, they're very rich and creamy, super pigmented with one swipe. I'm actually wearing them, one of them right now and I've just topped it off with a Morphe gloss. So I'm gonna show you the one that I'm wearing, which is Blush Nude. And first of all, packaging super sleek black and gold with the little tf logo and also ignore my nails i ordered a gel nail kit from um amazon and i'm gonna start doing my i'm gonna start doing gel nails at home from now on because normal polish just is not it so this one is blush nude a super pretty nude shade and as you can see i've been using it up quite a bit and this is the one that i'm wearing right now and i've topped it off with the morphe gloss in boho and yeah it's super creamy it makes your lips look super full super lu um, luxurious is the word um and i just feel like like when i look at my lips i just feel like they look super plump you know and it just fills in those lines and just goes over it so it looks super creamy and then we have another one in spanish pink i'm just showing you guys a few of my favorite shades um this one is Spanish pink, gorgeous peachy pink shade. And then another one I have is True Coral, which I haven't actually used yet. And this one, oh, look at that, a bright orange. And I cannot wait to use this. Next is something I'm wearing on my cheekbones, which is my highlighter. As you can tell, look at this. Oh love it these are my favorites or one of my favorites these are the artist couture diamond glow powders these are worth every penny i always just bathe myself in this in these highlighters so i have two shades here one is in illuminati which is my favorite one and then we have yas which is the one i'm wearing today which is a nice pink highlighter kind of pinky highlight and then we have illuminati which is more of a champagne gold which is my favorite one and i'm just going to show you guys oh my god i don't want to like knock it over but i'm going to show you guys what illuminati looks like and these i'm going to talk about right now look at that they are like super super wet they're not glittery they are just the perfect amount of shimmer and they just add a little lift to the cheeks, to the face. It gives you that beautiful glow, that beautiful J-Lo glow. And yeah, I absolutely love these ones. They have so many different shades. Also, these are super, super fine, super fine, like a baby powder. They glide on the skin, but the formula, the formula, I don't know if you can tell, is just like, just finely milled powder. It's just the most thinnest powder that I've ever, you know, put on my skin or that I, have, that I have tried. For bronzer, Fenty Beauty. Now, Fenty Beauty for me is very hit or miss. I've tried many products from her. Some I love, some I absolutely hate. But this is just one of those products from her brand that I absolutely love. And it's also one of the bronzers that I think is the most versatile and most skin tone friendly. You have great shades to suit a variety of skin tones, which is why I absolutely love this bronzer. I can find my shade and I find that it's very hard when I'm you know, this fair to find a good bronzer because a lot of them tend to look really dark and orangey. This is a darker bronzer for me. I'm actually wearing it right now on the cheeks. This one is in Private Island. I would say this is more for someone who is like an NC30, NC35 by MAC. I'm actually an NC15 slash NC20. So this is a little darker for me, but I still make it work. I want to get Shady Biz, which is one shade up. I believe or down super creamy super smooth and rich it adds the most beautiful warmth to the skin and it also is a nice matte finish it's not a drying matte it's like a super smooth creamy matte you can contour with it you can bronze with it and I just feel like you can add layers and layers and you'll never look too dark or too orange I just feel like it's the perfect bronzer you can build it up all the time and you can never look too bronzed if that makes sense so I would highly recommend checking out Fenty 
Fenty's bronzers if you haven't already. It's a great, great, great um, high-end bronzer and it's actually one of the best ones that I've found. And I've tried a lot of bronzers. I've tried a lot of high-end products. Fenty Beauty bronzers are the ones. So a few more products left. And if you guys want to see a part two, I can definitely do a part two because there are just so many products, uh, high-end makeup products that are completely worth it. But of course, I couldn't mention all of them in this video. So do let me know if you want to see another one. But this next one, <laughs> look at this crazy right this is the Stila. oh my god i have a lot of them these are the Stila liquid glitter shadows i know it's expensive for one but you don't even need this many shades i'm just crazy literally just get one shade and you'll be set for life and they last a very long time it's just one swipe and you get complete glitter coverage on your eyes it doesn't flake you don't get glitter fallout there's absolutely no glitter fallout it's literally a liquid glitter made to perfection you have rose gold retro which i'm just gonna show oh my god oh my goodness look at that look at that and they just look super glittery on the eyes once you have it on bronzed bell look at this guys look oh my goodness i don't even know if you can see that but yeah super super gorgeous products shades everything everything about these i know you can't see it but they're super reflective and glittery i would highly recommend those let me know if you've tried them i have two products left and this one is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder this is such a great powder i've done a little uh, dent in it as you can see and i've been using this a lot and it's basically the most fine smoothest powder that i've tried again it's kind of like baby powder but in a pressed powder form and it just blurs in perfection it blurs your skin it makes you look very filtered and it also makes your foundation last long as well so if you are using you know uh, maybe more dewy foundation you can set it down nicely with this but you don't have to take away from that shine because this isn't a very matte powder either it's just a very soft focus powder and i absolutely love this one i'm sure you guys have heard it everywhere everyone loves this the only downside to this product is that they have free shades free shades what i mean they can do better than that so i hope she comes out with more shades um because this one i have is fair and i actually find it too fair for me like what it just gives you a beautiful veil over your foundation over your makeup and you can just put on this powder as many times as you want throughout the day you can touch up if you do have more oily skin it reduces the shine if you want a good setting powder to make your foundation last all day or if you do have oily skin and struggle to find something that controls your oils then check out this one and then last but not least mac blushes i couldn't go through this video without mentioning you know a few mac products or a mac product and of course the mac blushes you guys know are one of my favorite products from mac i use these every time i'm doing my makeup i always reach for a mac blusher i try to incorporate different blushes into my routine of course this is what i do so i want to show you guys different blush options as well and for myself i like to try new colors and new products but i always do go back to mac blushes and i'll tell you why right now because one they are super buildable you can go from a sheer blush to a medium kind of blush or you can build up to a very intense blush and i like to keep it to a more medium blush as you can see right now they have so many amazing uh, shades they have a variety of shades you guys know mac doesn't play when it comes to shade selection when it comes to colors and the shade range i love the mac blushes because they go on super easy as well i feel like it just goes on sheer for you and makes your life easy i feel like everyone needs to own a mac blusher at least one in your collection and just try it out try it out for me and let me know what you guys think if you haven't tried mac blushes you need to so that i think is everything for kind of like the best high-end makeup products that i recommend of course this isn't all of it there are so many other great products that i would highly recommend i didn't want to mention things like laura mercier because everyone knows that you know i didn't want to mention like the really 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 basic high-end products that probably everyone has but I just wanted to mention the ones that I love and that I think is worth the money. So do let me know what high-end makeup products you guys absolutely love if you're going to pick up any of these. And I think that is it from me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. I'll chat back with you. And until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.